Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, January 24, 2025. Here follow organ solutions of problem 221. Now, what some of you figured out, but not too many, I do exactly the same problem in lecture 13 of 802. And of course, Organ also realized that, and he starts mentioning it right at the beginning. So, these are the words by Organ. Before we dive into the solution, I strongly recommend watching lecture 13 from the 802 series. I made a snapshot from that lecture where we can see on the blackboard everything we need to solve the problem. And I want to ask your attention in particular to this. R is the square root of 2mv, Q is the charge, b to the power square. That's the, really the answer. I derived it. So let's now go over Organ's solution in a bit more detail. So we need to solve the problem uh, of the Lorentz equation. And he gives here the Lorentz equation. That includes the force on the charge Q due to E field, that is this part, and then when the charge is moving in the B field, you get the V cross B term as well. So here come the ionized particles in, and that is at the end of that electric field which accelerates them. We note that by the time the uranium singly ionized particles enter the magnetic field, they are out of the electric field. We also note that V and B are perpendicular, so the cross product, factorial cross product, V cross B is simply V times B. So once the ions exit the electric field, the Lorentz for it is simply Q V B. But this force F X as a centripetal force, in other words, F is also mv squared divided by r. m here is the mass of the ions, v is the ion's velocity, and r is the radius that the ions follow in that magnetic field. He reminds you that B is coming out of the paper in your direction and then it is one hundredth of a Tesla. 
So he does a little bit more of mass, and there out pops the radius. V here is the velocity of the ions, and Q is the charge of the ions, M is the mass, and B is the B field. We know the ions are accelerated in the electric field E. In other words, one half mv squared is qv, high school physics, and of course also covered by me in my 802 lectures, where v is the potential difference which is given by the problem. It's 250 volts. So he massages the algebra a little further, and here you get a very important final result. It has the mass of the ions, it has the potential difference over which they are accelerated, the charge and the B field. Oh, he mentions that too. We also know that the particles are singly ionized, so Q is the elementary charge. And that is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. So, he goes a little further. Keep in mind that X is not R uranium-238 minus 235, as many of you have, it is twice that, because look carefully, x here is the difference between the diameters, and so many of you have as an answer that x is 2.2 centimeters, but that really should be twice that high, so about 4.4 centimeters. So Oregon puts here in all the dimensions again, potential difference, magnetic B-field, charge of the ions, mass of 238, you have to look that up, mass of 235, you also have to look that up, He also calculated here the speed of these ions. And the speed is considerably smaller than the speed of light. It's quite obvious when you come to think of it, of the huge mass of these particles. Yeah, I call this huge mass. So he mentions, note that we also need to verify the velocities to make sure that no relativistic correction is needed, and indeed that is not needed. I probably mentioned that also in lecture 13. Thank you, Eugen, for this wonderful solution. And when I say it's a wonderful solution, I'm also patting myself on the back because I do it exactly this way in lecture 13 of 802.